I'll never let this flight go. My name is Ivan Mawarire. Um, a lot of people know me as Pastor E. Uh, or Pastor Ivan, uh, because I'm a pastor for a church and I've been pastoring a lot of young people for a lot of years. Well, when I decided to speak out, it definitely, the intention definitely wasn't to enter politics. It was pure frustration. And this happened in uh, April of 2016. This flag, every day that it flies, is begging for you to get involved, is begging for you to say something, is begging for you to cry out. Nothing could have prepared me for the kind of life I live now. Whenever I leave home, I leave home every day with the prospect that I could end up in prison um, for a couple of days because that is what has happened to me in the last couple of months. I escaped Zimbabwe soon after my release because my wife and my children, they had been threatened. When I came back after I'd been arrested and then got, uh, got released, I decided I was not going to leave my flag. Every symbol, every color, whatever it stands for, has been violated. So for example, the green stands for our um, agricultural backbone and our agricultural strength. We haven't had any produced any food on our, on our own farms in the last 25 years in Zimbabwe. The yellow stands for the minerals in the ground. Zimbabwe is one of the richest countries when it comes to natural resources, but we're poor. The resources are abused. The red stands for the blood that was shed by those that went to the liberation struggle. And our question has always been, if this is what they fought for, then they paid for nothing with their lives. The black stands for the black majority who are supposed to be prosperous in Zimbabwe, but it's the black majority who are suffering in Zimbabwe. And so when I pray for God to look after me and look after my family, it makes sense for me to also pray that God would help us with our governance, with the corruption, with the disease, with the crime, with the unemployment. We are at a crossing point in Zimbabwe, whether we like it or not, and it's an inescapable crossing point. We're coming from one generation of leadership to the next generation of leadership. Even if you put us in jail, no matter what it is, when we come out, if it's not fixed, we're gonna, we're gonna go back for it again.